Hello everyone. So in the last video, I had shown you how you can create UI using Qt Designer and then integrate in Python using PyQt. Then we processed our image using OpenCV so that we are able to draw it in Paint. The link of the video is in the description. In this video, we will learn to use PyAuto GUI for controlling our mouse so that we can draw in any software. Let's get into it. For additional documentation on Pi Auto GUI, you can refer the link that I've added in the description below. So let's start by creating a new file in which we'll be testing out how exactly Pi Auto GUI works. The first step will be importing Pi Auto GUI. Next, we want to print the screen resolution and also we need to get the uh, position of our mouse. We'll be printing that as well. Now head to the folder where you have saved this file and press shift along with right click then you'll see an option to open the partial. Now open the pane. In the partial, the first thing that we'll be doing is running the python test script. So we have not added the code for screen resolution, I'll just add that as well. Now before running the code, we'll position our mouse at the left hand corner from where we need to start painting. Similarly, I'll shift the mouse to the right hand side upper corner. In similar fashion, I'll position the mouse at the lowermost corner and get the position as well. So here you can see I've added a code which will basically draw a pattern on your paint just to test it out. This code is actually available in the official documentation. So what this does is basically uh, we'll be dragging our mouse for a certain distance and this distance will keep on changing. First we'll go right then down then left and then we'll be moving up till our distance becomes negative. From here you observe the exact coordinates which we'll use to draw any painting. Next, I have added a piece of code which will calculate exactly the start if you provide the correct dimension of your screen. These are the same coordinates that I had used uh, from a previous observation. For the canvas start x, I will basically multiply the screen width into the ratio. So now anyone uh, with any type of screen can basically change the screen width and height and the code will function the same. Now if we test our code, you can clearly see we have got the correct coordinates and you can check them with the previous test that we had done. Now I'll copy the same code in the process image class that we had created in the previous video. Now once we have all the start and end coordinates and along with the ratio, I'll add the code to resize our image once it's loaded based on the height and the width. As you can see, I'm dynamically changing the resolution of the image that has been loaded using this image underscore resize function. Now let's write image resize function. It will take image width height as input. This is a basic resizing code, uh, nothing much to explain over here. You can refer to the code, uh, the link I have provided in the description. Next, we'll write the function to basically start painting. First, we'll move to the initial location that will be at canvas start x and canvas start y. Now 
Next, we'll loop through the complete array of the filtered image and wherever we find a pixel, we'll basically click at that particular coordinate. Finally, we just need to also import PyAutoGUI in process image. PyAutoGUI dot pause what it will do is it will set the interval between each action uh, if you set the pause very high then it will take a lot of time next in the main class we will basically add signal uh, for the start painting button the function will be called init painting let's define that So in the init painting function, first I'm adding the code for creating a queue message box. As you can see, this is a queue message box of the type warning. Then we'll set some important information along with the information to how to stop the code in between. Uh, this queue box will either return OK or cancel. So if in case it, the user press OK, what we'll do is we'll create a new thread and for that we will be writing a function and in that particular function we will be calling the process image class to start painting this will be of type queue thread and then we will basically connect it to the function and start it this is done we can test our code we will first load our image and change the threshold values now open paint and open our application and position it away from the draw area then click on start painting we'll get this pop-up and if you press ok it will automatically start painting now for demonstration i have increased the speed if you want to stop the code at any point, simply press Ctrl Alt Delete. Now if you compare it with the original image, it has drawn exactly the same and uh, this is how you can draw anything that you want and any sort of image uh, that you feel like. The last thing that is remaining is if you want to save the image as well. Now if I want to save this particular image, simply click on save and your image will be processed. I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial of using PyCute, OpenCV and PyAuto GUI to create any sort of uh, image that you want in paint or any other uh, drawing software of your choice. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it and uh, what sort of other tutorial videos I should make. Thanks for watching and please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel.